Hello friends and you are watching share and learn with Jatin and today in this video we are back with the uh, new update that is government job uh, in finance domain so yeah this is a government organization that is NTPC limited this is a government of India enterprises and uh, uh, yeah the advertisement number is uh, 7 by 2022 so the position is uh, there are three position uh, first is executive trainee in finance uh, that is CA and CMA and total number of vacancy is 20 and executive trainee in trainees in finance MBA finance uh, total number of vacancy is 10 and for executive trainee in finance or uh, trainee in uh, human resource total number of vacancy is 30 so if we talk about the uh, separately so uh, separately we can separately position wise so what is the qualification so qualification is basically uh, C or CMA uh, C or CMA previously ICWA so qualified from the institute uh, recognized appropriate statutory authority so just if you want to apply for the position of executive trainees in finance domain and you have qualified either CA or CMA then you can apply for the position of executive trainee in, fin trainee in finance and for executive trainee, in fi executive trainee in finance MBA, fi MBA finance then what you need to qualify is that uh, you must be graduate with at least two years full time post graduate degree so you must be a post graduate degree you have must have post graduate degree or post or post graduate diploma or post graduate program in management with specialization in finance as the position is al already specifying that uh, specification is in finance only right so uh, yeah and uh, you what you should have that uh, at least two year full time post qualification and along with that in post qualification you must have 65 percent right in aggregate you must have 65 percent in that uh, uh, post graduate degree and if you talk about the human resource then executive trainees in human resource must also has full time post graduate degree in uh, uh, in human resource as a specialization or industry relation or personal management or masters in social work or MHROD or MBA with specialization in HR from recognized university uh, that is Indian University it must be okay so here is also the mandatory requirement of 65% marks uh, at least 65% you you must possess at least 65% marks in your post graduation degree and if you uh, focus on the uh, percentage criteria then there is no per passing uh, there is no per per basically percentage criteria minimum percentage criteria here for the executive trainee finance in CACMA so that means you just if you have passed if you have passed the CACMA exam then you can then you can ap uh, apply for the finance CACMA job if we talk about the maximum age so maximum age limit is 29 on the last date of online application it would be considered and uh, what is the selection process so eligibility get, eligible candidate will have to appear there are basically all India based online selection test so from here from the word all India we can derive that this is going to be the all India level post job right uh, it means all Indian all Indians can apply so there will be two kind two test uh, the first one is subject knowledge test and the second is executive aptitude test and subject knowledge test will consist uh, what, uh, whatever you have studied in the in their respected education uh, qualification like for the CACMA then the questions would be from CACMA course or the qualification if you have a MBA finance then you would be have MBA finance question then if you have uh, done if you are applying for the uh, human resource then the questions will be from human resource domain and uh, the second test is ex uh, executive aptitude test and it would it will be considered uh, it will be uh, it will include uh, like reasoning uh, uh, reasoning general awareness computer awareness so this kind of thing can be considered right so if you talk about the um, minimum qualifying area, minimum qualifying marks so yeah you must have secure 85% uh, 85% uh, in both the examination of uh, subjective no, subject knowledge test and executive update test 
and after that you after that you will be uh, so in both the examinations you will have to qualify on the basis of merit which is going to be prepared uh, by the ntpc itself and uh, shortlisted candidate after written test will have to secure minimum qualifying marks in the interview as well that is around 50% weightage of interview marks so your 85% marks consist uh, from uh, from two test and 50% uh, marks for your the uh, interview skills if you talk about the test center then there would be two preferences for giving the examination of uh, two test right and that will be updated accordingly on the website of the uh, company itself and if you talk about the uh, uh, category wise uh, uh, vacancy number of vacancy so yeah if you talk about the CACMA the total vacancy we have already discussed 20 and 10 is for under un unreserved category and EWS category is for 1 OBC is for 5 SC is for 3 SC is for 1. If you talk about the MBA finance, then it is total is 10, 6 is for unreserved category, 1 is for AWS, and 2 is for OBC, SC is for 1. And there is no vacancy for ST category in MBA finance domain. So, uh, accordingly, you, you, you can check uh, for the HR vacancy. And if you talk about the compensation, yeah, because everybody is going to. Uh, waiting for the compensation so your initial basic uh, initial basic pay would be 40000 to 150000 your basic pay would be would lie in 40 lakh 40000 to 140000 but your initial basic pay would be 40000 apart from basic salary apart from basic you are also uh, uh, going to get dearness allowance other prerequisites and allowing terminal benefits etc and much more as per the company rules in force if you talk about the placement uh, placement criteria so selected candidate shall go uh, uh, will for uh, one year training in at various places and final place of posting will be decided after completion of your training that is for one year so initially uh, candidate will have to undergo training for one year and after that he, he would be regularized he or she would be regularized right so there's a, there's also a relaxation reservation and relaxation criteria you can check it uh, check it uh, in detail so yeah the age relaxation is also there so yeah the important uh, point is that the commencement of online application is 7th of march 2022 so this job is uh, uh, you can say the advertised in in i think today or, or or before today so the it is going to be start from uh, today itself and the last date would be 21st of march 2022 so we check some important point also Uh, service agreement bond if you talk about there would be a bond there would be agreement selected candidate would uh, who belongs to general AWS on OBC category will be required to execute a service uh, agreement bond that is 5 lakh so you have to sign a bond of uh, 5 lakh if you are if you are from category of general AWS and OBC category and if you are from SC, ST and PWD, PWBT categories then you have to sign 2 lakh rupees 2 lakh 50,000 uh, bond bond of rupees 250000 and and you must have served at least 3 years after successful completion of your one year training that means you must uh, serve at least 4 years if we consider the uh, training period also so now how to apply is the main point so eligible candidate what so what is the eligibility candidate uh, i talk in the short uh, if for the position of executive training finance that is CACMA then you just have the qualification of CACMA there is not at all uh, uh, experience that is post or pre-qualification right so you don't uh, need to uh, bother for the uh, for the experience so no experience is uh, mentioned for the for the all three vacancies so just you must be a qualified uh, qualified uh, structured accountant or the cost and management accountant or the MBA finance or the human resource in uh, human resource right 
so what you need to do is yeah what you, uh, how can you apply you can apply online only but yeah the payment can be made either in online or offline and how much fee is there so it this is a 300 uh, this is a fee of rupees 300 which is non refundable non refundable uh, registration fee right this is not going to be refunded to you so 300 rupees is for general aws obc category and if you talk about the sc st pwd xsm category and female category need not to pay the registration fee that means uh, candidate who belongs to sc category st category pwbd X, xsm category and female category then the fee is exempted for for those candidate right and uh, yeah offline mode is also prescribed here you can check in detail yeah in online mode uh, you can also check how can you pay uh, your application fee through online mode so there are some general instru information uh, and instruction right uh, only indian nationals are eligible to apply candidate should apply uh, ensure to uh, fulfill eligibility criteria and norms mentioned in the advertisement and all qualification uh, should would be should be from indian university or institute recognized by aicte or the appropriate statutory authority uh, and no tada will be allowed uh, will be paid for uh, appearing in the uh, online test So yeah, so this was all about for the NTPC uh, job. So this is uh, mm, this is it. So apply for the post if you are eligible, and uh, hope so you uh, you get the benefit uh, here from here from my video. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a government job. This is a government job. This is a government company, right? Uh, NTPC is a very big organization and very reputed organization is basically right uh, it's a, it's it's incorporated in, in the year 1975 right and it is, it is a listed company you can see i am checking from the scene number that is corporate identity number so yeah the last date is for application is at uh, 621st of march 2022 and it is started from uh, today itself so yeah apply for the uh, for the post for which you are eligible and like the video comment on the uh, on the link on the uh, comment on the video description and uh, please subscribe my channel uh, if you want to get uh, these kind of updates related to government job specifically for the finance domain so that was it uh, all about this video thank you so much